the um, Cranfield Safety and Accident Investigation Centre, our role really is to provide um, short course and professional training for aspirant accident investigators from around the world. And we deal with investigators from the air domain, the marine domain and the rail domain and others such as land, uh, health and nuclear. But our, our history really is in, is in uh, aviation accident investigation. When they, they come to Cranfield on the course, they've, they are generally appointed by their company or their organisation or a national investigation body. And the Cranfield course is seen as one of the foundations of a, of a career or professional career in accident investigation. So we work with people um, from a broad range of experience of various ages, uh, generally reasonably senior in their career. Uh, and our role is to help them on that journey to becoming a professional investigator. Uh, through the courses we run here at Cranfield. At Cranfield, we very much believe in the principle of teach, try, apply. Um, so we will work with our, stu our delegates and students to pass over a lot of theoretical information, but the act of accident investigation is a very tactile, practical um, activity, so it really helps to embed the sort of theory we teach in the classroom to bring the delegates outside and give them some practical exercise which allows them to consolidate the skills that we're giving them. Um, and the, the medium of setting up simulated accident, in, uh, accident sites is a really powerful learning tool and, and allows them to very nearly get it as realistic as possible uh, but still be a learning environment to allow them to try things, make mistakes, learn from the mistakes and to, and to build a, a, a really uh, broad foundation of investigative skills because when they leave us here at Cranfield, some of them will, in a very short period of time, actually go to a real accident site uh, and, and be dealing with the, the reality of a complex accident investigation. I mean, we are hugely privileged to have a, a sort of repository of a learning material here in the Accident Laboratory which has been very kindly donated by um, a, a lots of different organisations from insurers, manufacturers, uh, military organisations and everything here has a purpose in teaching accident investigation uh, and safety and without having these practical tools to use as part of the teaching process it would be um, a very dry subject for us to, to put across so the act of bringing somebody here and showing them what we've been talking about in the classroom and then allowing them to see it and to experience it uh, is, a, is again a really powerful learning tool and it's something that our delegates and students are always feeding back to us is that how the accident lab and the ability to engage with some examples of real accidents really reinforces the, 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 the teaching and the learning process they're going through. The, the purpose of the course is to provide um, the initial training for these uh, ladies and gentlemen that are going on to do uh, an incredibly important job within society. Um, you know, transportation systems are a way of life. We are, our lives are, are uniquely entwined with planes, trains, automobiles, etc. But you know they're a system designed by a human. And therefore, they have there are problems with the systems, and unfortunately, this involves some quite serious accidents at times with uh, numerous fatalities. And and for us to move forward, we need to understand what caused the accident and our role is to work with these um, investigators to help them develop the skills to them to carry out a successful accident investigation with the goal of making transportation um, safer for all of us so the next time um, you or your family go get on an aeroplane to go on holiday um, you know that it's a reason going to be as about as safe as we can make it and also in the understanding that when things go wrong there is an active process in place to learn from mistakes and try and prevent it from happening again. And that's the goal of accident investigation, is to work out what went wrong and try and work out how we can prevent it happening again. 
Um, um, some of us are from um, from the centre, are from a, a very academic background, but world leaders in in safety and accident investigation um, research and and teaching. Others are sort of coming from a professional background. Some of us are from a military background. Some from a civil background. Um, we we're engineers. We're pilot operators. We are. Um, ship architects, um, uh, all these different skills we bring um, to make the centre as rounded as possible so we're a balance between academic um, excellence and also practical experience. Um, it's quite an interesting process to watch, you know, some people come here because it's something they've always wanted to do and you can see that in day one. Other people have come here because they've just been um, gone into a new job and their employers told them to come here and they go on a different journey there's almost a sort of a, uh, a quizzical look on their eye and then six weeks later they have this sort of epiphany moment and they say you know Eureka I, I get it I understand it and I suppose all of them go from this journey during the course from being a very professional person with lots of experience to suddenly really understanding what it is to do this accident investigation thing you know it's not easy and it's, it's, it's an emotional hard ride, it's difficult, it's complex, but it's fascinating and professionally challenging. Um, but, but it's so fascinating to watch people make that journey and then at the end of three weeks or at the end of six weeks, well, if they do the long course, then yeah, they're almost a different professional person going out the door than, than arrived on day one. They're better, they're, they're, they've got more understanding and, and perhaps some of the questions they had during their professional career have been answered and they can move forward and go out there and, and, and what they will do is make a difference.